Hello everyone, I am Daniel Facken. Today I have 50 questions that I will answer and explain to every one of you. Okay, let's get start. As early as 1876, tidal prediction machines were already in operation. This agency publishes an annual tide table covering most part of the country using a boots and ledge tide predicting machine which later on has been replaced with computers. What is that agency? A Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. The Philippine Bureau of Coast and Geodetic Survey. C. Project NOAA. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's letter B. Philippine Bureau of Coast and Geodetic Survey. The Coast and Geodetic Survey Department, CGSD, of the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority, NAMRIA, is the National Hydrographic Office. It is mandated to conduct hydrographic, oceanographic, geodetic, and geophysical surveys of the national territory. It publishes nautical charts, notices to mariners, tide and current tables, coast pilot books and other related publications. It maintains the National Geodetic Network, Geodetic Information System, National. A scenographic data center, a network of tide stations and a magnetic observatory. Question number 2. Are irregular waves directly affected by the wind characterized by different periods and heights traveling at different directions? A. Irregular waves. B. Irregular waves. C. Traveling waves. B. C. Waves. The answer is letter D. C. Waves. Sea waves transmit energy, not water, and are commonly caused by the wind as it blows across the ocean, lakes, and rivers. Waves caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun are called tides. The ebb and flow of waves and tides are the life force of our world ocean. Question number 3. Waves of similar speed and dimension traveling together. A. Swells. B. Wave trains. C. Wave patterns. Or letter D. All of the above. The answer is letter B. Wave train. Every wave travels at a particular speed. Water waves are unusual because waves can have different speeds, wave speed depends on how the wave is formed, which is why tsunamis travel much faster than surf waves. Question number 4. The breaking waves create a lot of energy in the form of turbulence. The incoming waters flows back to the sea and are then called blank, causing people to drown in these waves. Letter A. Rip currents or undertow. B. Refractor waves. C. Internal waves. Or letter D. Stationary wave. It's letter A. Rip currents are undertow. Rip currents are much more dangerous because they flow on the surface of the water, can be very strong, and can extend some distance from the shore. An undertow can occur when water sinks back downhill into the sea after a wave has carried it uphill onto the beach. Question number 5. When waves reach shallow waters and are at an angle to the beach, the direction of travel will change. The part that first reaches the shallow waters will slow down causing the entire wave to turn toward the shore. This change in direction is termed as blank which is dependent on the bottom topography, wavelength and direction of the waves. The choices are letter A refraction. B contraction. C syzygy. B all. The answer is letter A refraction. Waves change speed when they pass across the boundary between two different substances, such as light waves refracting when they pass from air to glass. This causes them to change direction, and this effect is called refraction. Question number 6. These waves occur when a wave reflects off a surface perpendicular to the motion of the waves merely moving up and down. A. Inertial waves. B. Standing waves. C. Catastrophic waves. B. Internal waves. The answer is letter B. Standing waves. Standing wave, also called stationary wave, combination of two waves moving in opposite directions, each having the same amplitude and frequency. The phenomenon is the result of interference, that is, when waves are superimposed, their energies are either added together or cancelled out. Question number 7. This is the slow oscillation of the water level in a lake or harbor usually observed after the passage of a storm. Letter A. Sieges. B. Water bulge. C. Convergence. B. Divergence. The answer is letter A. Sykes. The Sykes, Sejsage, is a standing wave in an enclosed or partially enclosed body of water. Sykes and Sykes related phenomena have been observed on lakes, reservoirs, swimming pools, bays, harbors, and seas. Question number 8. Waves found in subsurface layers causing ships to remain steady even at full speed. Fishermen refer to them as Dead Sea, a phenomenon frequently observed in European seas. Letter A Internal wave. B Inertial waves. C Standing waves. B Stationary waves. The answer is letter A. Internal wave. 
An internal wave is a type of gravity wave that propagates underneath the surface of the ocean, between stratified layers of water. A stratified layer is when lower density water is stacked above the higher density water in the water column dot since internal waves are not directly visible, they can only be detected by their surface signature and by direct measurements of the Pycnocline or Thermocline. Question number 9. Storm surges, landslide surges and tsunamis exemplifies this type of waves which has been a result of unusual conditions, having a severe effects when coincide with high tides. Letter A Storm surge. The inertial waves. C. Destructive waves. The catastrophic waves. The answer is letter D. Catastrophic wave. The tsunami, storm surges, landslide surges are catastrophic ocean wave, usually caused by a submarine earthquake, an underwater or coastal landslide, or a volcanic eruption. Question number 10. The wind-driven current affected by the Coriolis force is called blank. Letter A. Tidal current. B. Geostrophic current. C. Surface current. The underwater current. The correct answer is letter B. Geostrophic current. The geostrophic current is an oceanic current in which the pressure gradient force is balanced by the Coriolis effect. The direction of geostrophic flow is parallel to the isobars, with the high pressure to the right of the flow in the northern hemisphere and the high pressure to the left in the southern hemisphere. Question number 11. When the water has no inclination, no wind stress and friction, but has been set into motion, the water will continue to move at a constant velocity. The wind-driven current produced this way is termed as blank. Letter A steady state current. The inclined surface current. C cold current. The inertial current. The correct answer is letter D. Inertial current. The current in which the dominant balance is between the inertial and the Coriolis terms in the equation of motion, causing streamlines to be curved to the right, left in the northern, southern hemisphere. Question number 12. Currently the NOAA satellites carrying AVHRR, advanced very high resolution radiometer, collects data nearly all over the globe, is considered advanced satellite. NOAA stands for Letter A National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. B National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency. C Nationwide Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. B Nationwide Operation and Atmospheric Administration. The correct answer is letter C. Nationwide Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. NOAA apostrophe S National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration data will remain free and available to the public without restriction on use, including through existing NOAA portals. Question number 13. Occur where currents flowing at different rates or water masses of different temperatures or salinities meet and surface waters are carried beneath the surface. Letter A zones of convergence. B zones of divergence. C zones of emergence. Or letter D upwelling. The answer is letter A zone of convergence. When geologists use the term convergence zone, they are discussing the region where two tectonic plates are colliding, with one plate sliding beneath the other. The result is geological turbulence, fault zones that produce earthquakes, and generated heat that gives rise to explosive volcanoes. Question number 14. A condition wherein light winds blowing steadily over the water surface set up alternating areas of convergence and divergence zones is called. Letter A. Ekman spiral. B. Langmuir circulation. C. Coriolis effect. B. All. It is letter B. Langmuir circulation. In physical oceanography, Langmuir circulation consists of a series of shallow, slow counter-rotating vortices at the ocean surface aligned with the wind. These circulations are developed when wind blows steadily over the sea surface. Question number 15. Other things being equal, would lowering fertility of the water increase or decrease photic zone? Letter A. In equilibrium. B. Steady. C. Decrease. B. Increase. The answer is letter. D. Increase. Primary production in the photic zone is influenced by three major factors nutrients and light, which are essential for photosynthesis and grazing pressure, the rate at which the plants are eaten by herbivores. Nutrients, especially phosphate and nitrate, are often scarce in the photic zone because they are used up quickly by plants during photosynthesis and it was increased the level of concentration. Next question number 16. Classification of plankton based on environmental distribution. The choices are A. Areoplankton. B. Hypomeroplankton. C. Limnoplankton. Or letter D. All of the above. The answer is letter D. All of the above. Classification of plankton based on environmental distribution are areoplankton, hypomeroplankton, and limnoplankton. Question number 17. Plankton that are free floating at some stages of its life. Letter A. Meroplankton. B. Holoplankton. C. Femtoplankton. B. Heliaplankton. The answer is letter A. 
Meroplankton. Meroplankton are a wide variety of aquatic organisms which have both planktonic and benthic stages in their life cycles. Much of the meroplankton consists of larval stages of larger organism. Meroplankton can be contrasted with holoplankton, which are planktonic organisms that stay in the pelagic zone as plankton throughout their entire life cycle. Next question number 18. Plankton measuring 0.02-0.2 mu, considered as the tiniest, exemplified by viruses are Letter A nanoplankton B picoplankton C fentoplankton B net plankton The correct answer is letter C. Pentaplankton. Pentaplankton is the smallest of the microplankton, the aquatic organisms that can pass through very fine mesh plankton nets. Next question number 19. Brackish water plankton. The choices are A. Saproplankton. B. Euplankton. C. Autogenetic plankton. B. Hypomeroplankton. The correct answer is letter. B. Hypomeroplankton. Hypomeroplankton are the plankton of the estuary region. Question number 20. Device used to measure surface temperature using radiometric instrument mounted in aircraft. Letter A Deep Sea Reversing Thermometer, DSRT. B Atmospheric Thermometer. C Airborne Surface Thermometer. B Airborne Radiation Thermometer, ART. The correct answer is letter. D. Airborne Radiation Thermometer, ART. An airborne radiation thermometer for use in measuring sea surface temperatures from aircraft is described. Infrared radiation from the water surface is compared to the radiation from a black body at known temperature within the instrument. The sensitivity is about 0.01 degrees centigrade. Question number 21. When several Nansen bottles are used over a wide area or at various depths, the setup is called blank. Letter A Hypsographic Station. B Hydrographic Station. C Survey Station. B Field Station. The correct answer is letter. B. Hydrographic Station. The hydrographic station is one of the basic operations in oceanography. To make a station, a series of Nansen bottles with attached thermometers are lowered into the ocean to obtain temperatures and water samples at various depths from surface to bottom. Completing a station takes several hours depending upon the depth to be sampled. Usually two casts are made. One above 2,000 meters with close-spaced bottles and one from 2,000 meters to the bottom with more widely spaced bottles. Question number 22. Another device used to measure temperature having advantage of being easier to use even while the vessel is in motion and capable of sending continuous reading, producing a more complete picture of the site. Letter A Bathothermograph. B Bathymetry. C Hydroclimograph. B None of the above. The correct answer is letter. A. Bathothermograph. The bathothermograph, or BT, also known as the Mechanical Bathothermograph, or MBT is a device that holds a temperature sensor and a transducer to detect changes in water temperature versus depth down to a depth of approximately 285 meters, 935 feet. Question number 23. In what region normally thermocline is absent? Letter A. Polar. B. Temperate. C. Tropical. B. Equatorial. The correct answer is letter. A. Polar. In the ocean, the depth and strength of the thermocline vary from season to season and year to year. It is semi-permanent in the tropics, variable in temperate regions, often deepest during the summer, and shallow to non-existent in the polar regions, where the water column is cold from the surface to the bottom. Next question 24. Cycle of air moving as a result of temperature differences occurring over landmasses and vast oceans. Letter A. Langmuir circulation. B. Trade wind. C. Cell. B. Monsoon. The correct answer is letter. D. Monsoon. The monsoon is a seasonal change in the direction of the prevailing, or strongest, winds of a region. Monsoons cause wet and dry seasons throughout much of the tropics. Monsoons are most often associated with the Indian Ocean. Monsoons always blow from cold to warm regions. The summer monsoon and the winter monsoon determine the climate for most of India and Southeast Asia. Question number 25. A law which states that if temperature of a liquid doesn't change, the concentration at saturation of a given dissolved gas increases when the pressure of the gas above the solution increases. Letter A Equilibrium Law. B Henry's Law. C Steady State Law. Or Letter D None. The correct answer is Letter. B. Henry's Law. Henry's Law is a gas law that states that the amount of dissolved gas in a liquid is proportional to its partial pressure above the liquid. The proportionality factor is called Henry's Law Constant. It was formulated by the English chemist William Henry, who studied the topic in the early 19th century. Question number 26. A zone where salinity greatly increase relative to depth. Letter A. Ecochline. B. Ectochline. C. Halochline. 
The Halak line. The correct answer is letter C. Halak line. Halak line is in vertical zone in the oceanic water column in which salinity changes rapidly with depth, located below the well mixed, uniformly saline surface water layer. Question number 27. Separates non mixing, bottom layer with completely mixed upper layer. Letter A. Chemocline. B. Cockline. C. Picnocline. Or letter D. Thermocline. The correct answer is letter A. Chemocline. The chemocline is a type of cline, a layer of fluid with different properties, characterized by a strong vertical chemistry gradient within a body of water. In bodies of water where chemoclines occur, the cline separates the upper and lower layers, resulting in different properties for those layers. The lower layer shows a change in the concentration of dissolved gases and solids, compared to the upper layer. Question number 28. A simple drifter instrument used to measure direction and speed of surface currents. Letter A. Satellite. B. Surface current meter. C. Drogue. B. Drobe. It is letter. C. Drogue. Drogues are frequently used to measure ocean currents. Wind drag and subsurface drag on the surface buoy, as well as non-linear effects of current velocity gradients, can cause slippage past the drogue of the same order as observed mean drift. Although slippage due to wind drag can sometimes be estimated, other drag forces generally remain unknown. The range of possible slip velocities must then be treated as a possible error or uncertainty range. This paper describes causes of uncertainties which must be considered when interpreting drogue velocities as current velocities. Next question number 29. Shows the pattern of distribution of dissolved oxygen. Letter A. Oxygen profile. The oxygen curve. C. Both. B. None. The answer is letter. C. Both. The shape of the profile is determined by the various processes that add or remove oxygen from the water at different depths. Rightward and leftward shifts of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve provide significant homeostatic adaptations to changing oxygen availability. 30. A term used by ecologists to indicate bottom body of water where decomposable organic matter and decomposers concentrates. Letter A. Trophilitic zone. B. Trophogenic zone. C. Saprobic zone. B. Profundal zone. The answer is letter. A. Prophylytic zone. Prophylytic zone is a layer or zone of standing water, especially in a lake. Characterized by the consumption or decomposition of organic nutrient. X E and J D T S and oxygen produced by photosynthesis. Question number 31. Carbon dioxide is present in water in the form of blank. Letter A. Carbonates. B. Bicarbonates. C. Undissociated carbonic acid. B. All. It's letter. B. All. Carbon dioxide is present in water in the form of undissociated carbonic acid bicarbonates and carbonates. Next question number 32. Which among the following bodies of water acquire more oxygen? Letter A. Pagsangin Falls. B. Lana Lake. C. Tinagong Dagat. B. West Philippine Sea. It's letter. A. Pagsangin Falls. The off-site transport of nutrients and sediments in Pagsangin Falls can have detrimental effects on water quality and ecological health of waterways, as well as acquiring more oxygen. Question number 33. In rare cases water absorbs too much oxygen. Water cascading down acquires extremely large quantities of oxygen due to turbulence, rapidity and high pressure impact of the fall, reaching up to 150% of saturation. If in this situation, suffocation and death of its inhabitant follows due to blank. Letter A. Anorexia. B. Gas bubble disease. C. Hyperventilation. Or letter D. All. It's letter. B. Gas bubble disease. Gas bubble disease, GBD, a non-infectious, environmentally physically induced trauma, is caused by an increase in the dissolved gas pressure above the ambient air pressure, supersaturation. Frequently the cause is an increased partial pressure of nitrogen especially in spring groundwater. All fish species as well as amphibians and aquatic invertebrates are susceptible. Fish species and age groups are different sensitive. Swim up fry is very endangered. Question number 34. Nitrogen constitutes 79% of atmosphere, abundant though it is, nitrogen is unavailable to most life unless comes in fixed forms. One way of fixing nitrogen is biological process which involved specialized bacteria living in association with leguminous plants. What bacteria is that? Letter A. Cellulomonas. B. Capitella. C. Nitrobacter. Or letter D. Azotobacter. The correct answer is letter. D. Azotobacter. Stressor, biotic as well as abiotic, generally hijack the plant growth and yield characters in hostile environment leading to poor germination of the plants and yield. 
Among the plant growth promoting Rhizobacteria, Azotobacter spp. Gram negative prokaryote are considered to improve the plant health. Various mechanisms are implicated behind improved plant health in Azotobacter spp. Inoculated plants. For example, acceleration of phytohormone like indole 3 acetic acid production, obviation of various stressors, nitrogen fixation, pesticides and oil globules degradation, heavy metals metabolization, etc., are the key characteristics of Azotobacter spp. Action. Next question number 35. Specialized bacteria responsible in completing cycle of nitrogen in the environment by utilizing nitrates and releasing nitrogen in its atmospheric state in a process of denitrification. Letter A Dissulfomonas. B Pseudomonas. C Nitrosomonas. Or letter D. All. The correct answer is letter B. Pseudomonas. The transformation of nitrates to nitrogen gas or nitrous oxide by certain microorganisms is called denitrification. Pseudomonas is a denitrifying bacteria. Question number 36. Considered as pasture of the sea. Letter A seaweeds. B zooplankton. C euplankton. B phytoplankton. The answer is letter. D. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is the base of several aquatic food webs. In a balanced ecosystem, they provide food for a wide range of sea creatures. Phytoplankton, also known as microalgae, are similar to terrestrial plants in that they contain chlorophyll and require sunlight in order to live and grow. Most phytoplankton are buoyant and float in the upper part of the ocean, where sunlight penetrates the water. Phytoplankton also require inorganic nutrients such as nitrates, phosphates, and sulfur which they convert into proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Next question number 37. Marks the beginning of a grazing food chain. Letter A. Grazers. B. Strainers. C. Phytoplankton. B. Consumer. The answer is letter. C. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are mostly microscopic single-celled photosynthetic organisms that live suspended in water. Like land plants, they take up carbon dioxide, make carbohydrates using light energy, and release oxygen. They are what is known as primary producers of the ocean the organisms that form the base of the food chain. Question number 38. Plankton community that nourish themselves on suspended dead and dying algal cells and other organic remains. Letter A. Saproplankton. B. Pseudoplankton. C. Euplankton. B. Phytoplankton proper. The answer is letter. A. Saproplankton. Plankton organisms inhabiting water rich in decaying organic matter or in foul waters. It may also consist primarily of saprophytes. Question number 39. Possess the power of self-locomotion. Letter A. Cecil. B. Periphyton. C. Plankton. B. Nectin. The answer is letter. D. Nectin. Nectin, or swimmers, are living organisms that are able to swim and move independently of currents. Nectin are heterotrophic and have a large size range, with familiar examples such as fish, squid, octopus, sharks, and marine mammals. Nectin are usually pelagic, living in the water column, but some are demersal and live close to the bottom, both in the coastal and oceanic habitats. Within the context of a seawater desalination plant, nectin may be impinged against the screens of an intake system or entrapped within the system through reducing process. Next in question number 40. Organisms that are attached or clinging to stems and leaves of rooted plants or other surfaces, projecting above the bottom for support. Letter A. Periphyton. B. Pleiston. C. Offriches. Or letter D. All. The answer is letter. A. Periphyton. Periphyton is a complex mixture of algae, cyanobacteria, heterotrophic microbes, and detritus that is attached to submerged surfaces in most aquatic ecosystems. The related term offriches, German surface growth or overgrowth, refers to the collection of small animals and plants that adhere to open surfaces in aquatic environments, such as parts of rooted plants. Pleiston are organisms living in the thin surface layer existing at the air water interface of a body of water. Question number 41. Benthic plants include both micro and macroalgae clinging to any kind of bottom. They develop specialized organs that will keep them permanently attached to their substrate. What is that specialized organ? Letter A anchorage. B stipe. C frond. B holdfists. The answer is letter. B holdfists. The holdfist is a root-like structure that anchors aquatic sessile organisms, such as seaweed, other sessile algae, stalked crinoids, benthic cnidarians, and sponges, to the substrate. Question number 42. These are infrontal organisms inhabiting interstitial spaces or the water-filled spaces between particles of soft bottoms. Life for them feels like being between two striking symbols. Letter A. Myofauna. B. Infrana. C. Epifauna. B. Cecil. The answer is letter. A. 
Myofauna. The myofauna, or myobenthos, are the smallest metazones dwelling in the substratum of streams and other stationary surfaces, such as tree root wads and other large debris. Next question number 43. Its community member stays on top or prefers to do some acrobat on the underside of its home, the film, without sinking or falling off into the water. Letter A. Newston. B. Benthos. C. Pleiston. B. Surface feeders. The answer is letter. A. Newston. Newston are group of organisms found on top of or attached to the underside of the surface film of water. The Newston includes insects such as whirligig beetles and water striders, some spiders and protozoans, and occasional worms, snails, insect larvae, and hydras. It is distinguished from the plankton, which only incidentally becomes associated with the surface film. Question number 44. Characteristic of Newston organism having the ability to resist water. Letter A. Hydrostatic. B. Hydrophobic. C. All. B. None. The answer is letter. B. None. Newston are considered a cosmopolitan component of aquatic ecosystems and contains a diverse assemblage of toxa that have a direct relationship to the surface layer of water. These organisms may rest on or move across the water surface and be in contact with or move below its surface. The majority of these species originate from the plankton and benthos, with a terrestrial origin for many surface toxa and various allochthena substances. The composition and abundance of Newston may undergo daily changes responding to disruption of the surface layer, with populations leaving and introduced to this region. Question number 45. Bacteria are unicellular organisms, e.g. fungi, ranging from 1 to 50 mu are responsible and predominates trophilitic zones. What other term is applied to decomposers? Letter A. Saprophytes. B. Microconsumers. C. Both. Or letter D. None. The answer is letter. B. Microconsumers. Microconsumers decompose dead organisms into simple inorganic components thereby allowing primary producers to access nutrients. Bacteria, fungi, algae, and other microorganisms are examples. These decomposers are also known as microconsumers, saprophytes, reducers, and osmotrophs which aid in the decomposition of human and plant waste. Question number 46. Characterized by its great hydrostatic pressure which depresses metabolic activity of its inhabitants and absence of illumination. Letter A. Profundal. B. Deep Sea. C. Neritic Zone. The Open Sea. Its letter. B. Deep Sea. The deep sea or deep layer is the lowest layer in the ocean, existing below the thermocline and above the seabed, at a depth of 1,000 fathoms, 1,800 meters, 6,000 feet, 1.1 me, or more. Little or no light penetrates this part of the ocean, and most of the organisms that live there rely for subsistence on falling organic matter produced in the photic zone. For this reason, scientists once assumed that life would be sparse in the deep ocean, but virtually every probe has revealed that, on the contrary, life is abundant in the deep ocean. Next question number 47. Dominating zone of pelagic province. Letter A. Epipelagic. B. Mesopelagic. C. Bathypelagic. B. Abyssalpelagic. Its letter. C. Bathypelagic. Relating to or inhabiting the layer of the water column of the open ocean that lies between the bathypelagic and hydopelagic layers at depths of about 4,000 to 6,000 meters, 13,120 to 19,680 feet. Question number 48. Its inhabitants tend to be transparent and bluish, smooth, shiny or silvery bodies making them practically invisible. Letter A. Ocean. B. Stream. C. Littoral. B. Epipelagic. Its letter. B. Epipelagic. The epipelagic zone, or upper open ocean, is the part of the ocean where there is enough sunlight for algae to utilize photosynthesis, the process by which organisms use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide into food. Generally speaking, this zone reaches from the sea surface down to approximately 200 meters, 650 feet. The epipelagic is home to all sorts of iconic animals, like whales and dolphins, billfishes, tunas, jellyfishes, sharks, and many other groups. Algae that live in the epipelagic zone are responsible for much of the original food production for the entire ocean and create at least 50% of the oxygen in the atmosphere, both through photosynthesis. Organisms that live in the epipelagic zone may come into contact with the sea surface. Question number 49. Transition area between aquatic and upland terrestrial environment. Letter A. Cockline. B. Riparian zone. C. Beach. Or letter D. Sand dunes. It's letter. B. Riparian zone. The riparian zone or riparian area is the interface between land and a river or stream. Riparian is also the proper nomenclature for one of the terrestrial biomass of the earth. 
Plant habitats and communities along the river margins and banks are called riparian vegetation, characterized by hydrophilic plants. And last question number 50. Mimicking human organizations, one or only a few species generally control aquatic communities. It largely control energy flow and determines environmental conditions for the other, yet doesn't necessarily the top predator. Scientists call them blank. Here are the choices. Letter A model. B ecological dominant. C predator. B crepuscular predator. It's letter. B. Ecological dominant. Ecological dominance is the degree to which one or several species have a major influence controlling the other species in their ecological community because of their large size, population, productivity, or related factors, or make up more of the biomass. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. This is Daniel D. Facken. ASCII Fisheries.